What's going on everybody? We are bass fishing today. It is going to be a very good day in the sense that I'm bass fishing in Nebraska right now. Home for the holidays. Thanksgiving is here. So excited. Love eating turkey and all the other goodness that comes with Thanksgiving. But it is warm today. It's the only warm day of the week. So I decided instead of going duck hunting like I have been pretty much every freaking day, I'm going to go do a little bit of bass fishing and in particular a little bit of pond hopping. But before I get started, check this out. We got the old Guggen Squad Ugly Christmas Sweater. It is available starting Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So it's not available right now if you're watching this the day I post this. But on Friday, Black Friday, it is available. I will leave the link down below. And you can also use code Guggen Shipping to get free shipping. So I will leave all the information down below. So if you are watching before Black Friday, you're going to have to wait a few days. But I want to let you guys know early so you don't miss an amazing opportunity to rock the sickest ugly sweater ever. Oh, so good, so good. Well, that was freaking delicious. Had to get a little quick, quick lunch, lunch sandwich in. But like I said earlier, I'm doing a little bit of pond hopping. This is a pond I have not fished in at least a year. Uh, it's just a neighborhood pond that one of my buddies actually lives around here. And I have no idea if there's gonna be any fishing here or if I'm gonna catch anything. But like I said, it's just a good day to be out fishing, gonna have some fun. Whether I catch fish or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna kind of enjoy myself, enjoy one of the last warm days of the year. Hopefully we can uh, catch a giant. I don't have a GoPro. We're good, we got the GoPro on, we're back. Oh, I almost forgot, if you guys are fishing this week, like Thanksgiving week, I'm gonna be hosting another tournament on the iCatch app. Most of you guys probably already know about it, but I will leave a link down below and all the information down below. Basically, you download this app on your phone and it creates tournaments. So you can fish in tournaments, you can compete against your friends, and I'm hosting a nationwide tournament this Thanksgiving weekend. So if you guys are gonna be fishing and you wanna enter the tournament, you can win some cash. So if you're gonna be fishing this weekend, you might as well enter it. I will leave the link down below, all the information down below. There's a ton of information, uh, and make sure you watch this video. I'm gonna leave a link to a video down below that shows how to enter the tournaments, uh, how to submit your catches. It's kind of confusing at the beginning, but it's not that hard to learn once you gotta get the hang of it. But like I said, if you're gonna be fishing this weekend and you wanna win some cash, click the link down below, enter my tournament, and uh, it'll be fun. How's it going, folks? We are ready to go catch a fish or something. I'm gonna start off with a finesse rig, a little, little net rig. This is the lure that I use to see if there's any fish in here. The bottom looks like absolute garbage. Like it looks like there's just matted, matted grass down there that's been just dead and died off. So my confidence level right when I'm showing up here is not, not terribly high, but it doesn't mean we're not gonna catch any fish. I'm gonna start with a net rig, just see if I can pull off a, a, a squeaker or something. I also brought a chatterbait and a jerkbait along couple moving baits a bottom bait i see some activity on the water there's definitely fish in here i just don't know don't know if they're bass oh there's fish oh ooh, that was a fish okay okay i see you come back little guy that, that kind of caught me way off guard i did not expect to get a bite right there whole this whole little pond here pretty much looks like crap from the bottom just absolute junk it's kind of hard to fish this net rig because it's getting junky and my jerk bait was catching weeds so this might get a little bit tricky to catch these fish. There's a little drainage pipe here. I don't know what that is necessarily, but we'll see if it catches a fish. So some of you guys watching might want some tips here. Uh, maybe you fish ponds like this or lakes or streams or creeks or whatever. And it's November and it's not the easiest time of the year to catch fish. Uh, and I, quite frankly, I don't know if I'm going to catch any fish today, but I wanted to give you guys some tips on, I guess, how I'm approaching this pond since I haven't been here in, in years and don't really know what, what to do. Uh, like I said, I'm starting off the net rig, just something finesse, just something to get a bite, just something that, that might catch a fish, get my confidence going. That's the number one thing in fishing is getting your confidence going. Um, but then you want to use baits that are somewhat slow moving, like a jerk bait where you can pause it, leave it suspending. You want to get a suspending jerk bait where you can kind of jerk it down and let it sit there. This type of deal, like a little net rig or a shaky head, will sit on the bottom. You can let it sit as long as you want. Um, my chatter bait, that's just, that's just a confidence bait of mine, honestly. And it's a bait that would probably surprise you and that the fact that you could catch fish on it when it's really cold um i might i might just basically that's gonna be my last resort is a chatterbait where i'm gonna cover water just go around this entire thing with a chatterbait just burn it and just find an active fish i mean there's always active fish year round no matter what they may be a little bit more lethargic than they are in the summer but there's always gonna be active fish so those are i guess somewhat of my tips is just cover water fish slow kind of milk the spots 
try a few different baits until you get some bites and, and quite frankly there may be just days where you just don't catch catch fish and that's that's just how it goes sometimes in the winter but hopefully you guys can use some of those tips and uh, maybe go catch a fish there's a fish got him got him yep got him yes come on that's actually a decent one come on buddy Woo! oh man I cannot believe I just caught that fish I cannot believe I was just about to leave and hit another pond. Look at that. Dude, such a cold water fish. You can see its lateral line is so prominent. Unreal. Look at that. Right in the top of the mouth. Throwing the old finesse rake here. I basically have fished around this entire pond and found this point. I'm on this point right now. It's kind of hard to see from the angle that you guys are, but you guys can see it's like this. And I decided, well, you know, if they're anywhere, they're probably off the only point on the pond. And uh, sure enough, that little dude just munched it. It's not even a bad fish. I mean, it's definitely not a giant, but this time of year, you really, it's really hard to pin down the big fish, especially in like Nebraska, the Midwest. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right, little Larry, see you buddy. Oh man, that feels so good. You have no idea how good that feels to catch that little fish. Oh man, I was thinking this is gonna be a bust of a video. I'm not gonna be able to post it because I'm not catching any fish. And that dude straight crunched the finesse worm. So like I was saying, I'm throwing this, this little finesse worm, having a tough time keeping it out of the muck. It's been, it's been a kind of a struggle to, to keep it, you know, getting, getting all grass on it. And my jerk bait's getting grass on it. So it's just, it's been kind of a struggle. I was almost about to leave, like I said, but I'm gonna keep fishing around this, this little area. That's a, that's a good sign. There are still fish in this pond. Absolutely stoked that I caught that little guy. I'll probably just basically fish my way all the way around. If I don't catch any more, I'm gonna take off, head to a uh, head to another pond and see if I can do some damage somewhere else. But that is awesome. Also, if you guys are wondering what setup this is, it will be linked down below. Got the favorite white bird and the favorite phantom spinning reel. This is like my go-to, and this is not an expensive setup. It's like a fifty-dollar rod. This is a this is one of my go-to setups for finesse fishing. It's got plenty of sensitivity. I'm using a little bit of light braid, fifteen-pound braid, and I believe like a ten or twelve-pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, and that's pretty much pretty much about it. That's as you guys see, it's kind of what I'm dealing with. I just smacked some of it off, but it's this green gunk. That is what's all over this pond right now that I'm having to having to put up with right now. But we're still still catching a fish, so we'll see if we can catch another one. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Yep. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, we got another. We got another, buddy. Woo! Another absolute freaking giant. Gotta for sure mount this one. Gotta be my PB. Forgot the scale, darn it. Right on the top of the mouth again. This is weird. There's just like one spot here. I'm literally sitting in the same point that has these guys. His bladder line is not quite as prominent, but they got these little dots. You guys see these little dots? Oh, well, you guys can see that. They got like freckles. Comment down below, what, what the hell are these freckles? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what these freckles are. I mean, I'm sure it's just like a regular deal, but I've never, I don't know if I, maybe I have seen this before. I don't know, comment down below if you know what these freckles are from though. Nice, nice little largy. All right, Samantha, see you later. Boom, back in the water, Samantha goes. See you, buddy. Yes, woo! Another fish, I know you guys are probably like, wow, why in the hell is this kid getting so excited over these teeny tiny fish? Well, you know, when it's 40 degree water temperature, it's not the easiest way to catch fish. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's, it feels good. It feels good to, you know, accomplish something. Just again, throwing this little, little finesse rake here. I'm just gonna kind of keep making my way down this bank. Right now, it seems like the juice. This is the juice. If you guys don't know what the juice is, this is the juice right here. We got the juice. Well, folks, that's a wrap for this pond. We are going to head in the old truck and try to find another pond around here or somewhere. Try to catch some more fish. 20 minutes later. All right, here we go, boys. Um, yep, don't know how this is gonna go. I was here not too long ago and it, and it went fine. Well, my buddy Milliken Fishing came here and got kicked out. So, we're not sure how, how this is gonna go. I made sure to uh, blend in with my surroundings to hide from the workers by wearing my bright red ugly sweater. That's always key for successful sneaking into ponds. Um, yeah, I see some workers, so we're gonna see if we can go catch a fish real quick before we get kicked out. I'm actually just gonna stand behind this tree and only my pole is sticking out. Just wanna catch a couple fish, all right? Leave me alone, golf course workers. Come on. Starting out with a net rig. Just took one pole, no cameras, just, just a GoPro in case it's gonna make a run for it. So far, I haven't gotten kicked out, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit more risky. I'm actually gonna move this side of the pond where I'm a little bit more exposed to uh, the view of I guess people here working. Oh yeah, now they can see me. Okay, well, I'll probably get kicked out here. I'm just gonna go for it, full send. 
Full send for the boys. That's a fish, that's a fish. Yup, oh, that's actually a decent one. That's actually a decent one. Here we go, here we go, folks, here we go. Yup, yup, decent, come on, buddy, get in here. <laughs> oh, golly, here we go. Oh, that's a better fish. I was just about to lose hope here. We have right in the top of the mouth every time. Again, nice prominent lateral lines. Decent fish, not a giant, but I'll take it. I will take it. The workers left, they left me alone. I think Milliken's just bad luck because they didn't seem to care at all that I'm here, which is awesome. And uh, cause, you know, I'm just, I'm out here just catching and releasing fish. There's no, no harm done here. That is absolutely incredible that I caught this fish. God, he is so cold. This fish is like absolutely freezing. What's up, buddy? See you later, Peter. There Peter goes, right there. Same thing, using the same rig. Just the old, the old Ned rig. I was, I was literally about to give this like two, three more casts. I was kind of curious if they killed out all the fish in here because this, the water's just looking kind of funky. Every time I've ever been to this pond, it's crystal, crystal clear, and this water's like black. Like it's like super dark. It's not muddy. It's just like black. So I was wondering if they put something in here to kill the fish, because it sounded like last time Milk had came here, they were all pretty pissy that people were coming out here and fishing it. So. Maybe they were gonna kill a fish, but obviously they didn't. They they at least left Peter alone. Peter is still swimming nice and strong. So we're gonna stay here. We're just gonna keep making our way around the pond here. See if we can catch a fish. I don't think I'm gonna get kicked out, so that's good. Oh, oh no, it came off. Oh, I was not paying attention at all. That was a fish. That was indeed a fish. All right, come back, buddy. Come on, come back for seconds. Oh, oh. There he is, there he is, came back, came back. Here we go, another fish. Yup, yup, come on buddy, yes, woo! Another fish, that's actually a decent one too. There's a lot bigger fish in this pond versus the one that I actually start at, started at. And uh, nice, nice little cold water Nebraska brutes. Look at that, you got a little boo-boo there. Nebraska brutes in late November. You can't beat it, you cannot beat it. See you later, Angela. Boom, I don't know if that was the same fish, but I had three solid bites in that one area. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna cast right back in there. Maybe that was one really aggressive fish or there were multiple fish that were in that same exact spot. So we're gonna, we're gonna see, but I think I found a little bit of a little juice action. You know, I had the juicy spot of the other place right there, right there's the juice on this pond. Ooh, 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 that's a fish. Come on now, get him, get him, get him, bring him in. Here we go, hooked up again. Dude, I'm telling you, I found the juice. You just gotta find the juicy spot on the ponds. The other lake had one juice spot. This pond, oh my God, he came off. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. You guys saw him though. You guys saw him though. Son of a fish. Well, like I said, one juice spot. Found another fish. We're gonna see if there's another one. That's kind of weird. I guess maybe that's, maybe that's a winter thing. There's just like literally one small, and it's off a of point, points. Here you go, folks. See that point? Giving you tips. The last pond, the point was fire. This pond, the point is fire. Just gotta find the wind-blown points. And that's where all the giants stack up. Oh, there it is. Yep. Come on. Oh my god. Are there hooks on this lure? Are there hooks? Confirmed, there are hooks. I just suck. Yep, yep, yep. I let him eat it. Oh, he came off. No, come on, come on, come on. Look at him. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. I caught that fish. I have absolutely no idea why I cannot hook these fish. Like this hook is sharp. Granted, it has some weed guards, which, you know, sometimes jacks with it, but like I'm setting the hook straight up, not setting it too hard, not setting it too light. Like this is a very thin wire hook. You don't need to jack the hook. Some of you guys might be thinking, Flair you're setting the hook like a freaking wimp. No, you don't need to set the hook that hard. This is a very sharp, thin hook. You saw that, I let him eat it. I was like, all right, I feel him. I'm gonna let him just, you know, basically digest the freaking worm so I can catch him. I brought him up on the leaves and he flopped off, but you guys saw him. That is all that matters. I got him on the bank. Oh my God, do you guys see that swirl? Oh my God, let's see if that fish comes back. That thing freaking hauled ass after this worm. How is that fish this active? Oh my goodness. Got it. He's got it, he's got it. Yup, got him, I caught him. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
I cannot believe that this small, this small of a fish, folks, made that giant swirl. I guess it, I shouldn't say that. There could have been a couple of them. Maybe that one was so aggressive because there was like competition, you know, other fish, and I caught the smaller fish. That was crazy. How are these fish so active with this cold of water? I definitely should have brought my chatterbait because that worked last time I was here. And with that fish chasing this finesse worm that freaking hard, they've got to be somewhat active. Absolutely incredible. That was insane what just happened right there. See you later, Jennifer. Whoop. Well, folks, as you guys see, it's starting to get kind of dark. It's getting there. I'm going to kind of make my way around basically over to that sand, and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm really hoping I can catch a big one, though. I know there's some big ones in here. Really hoping I can run into a big old donkey. Yep. 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 Another one. I cannot believe how many fish I'm catching right now. Get in here, buddy. Another fish. That was literally the next cast. Hey, over here. That was literally the next cast after I just released Jennifer. All right. That's sick. It's a little bit bigger than Jennifer, actually. This, this whole bank right here is loaded. This is just the straight juice side of this pond. All right, Evan. See you, buddy. Woo! There Evan goes. Well, I'm going to keep on fishing, folks. Can't complain. I'm catching fish. A lot more fish than I actually expected. This water is so freaking cold, but they just they love the old finesse rig. The old finesse rig done did it. That was fun, folks. That was fun. Seatbelt time, safety first, children. Well, that was some fun stuff. Absolutely incredible that I caught those fish. That water had been so cold. I'm pretty cold right now. It wasn't that bad out there. Um, it was like mid, mid to low 50s or so. Nothing nothing terrible, but still pretty cold. You know, end of, end of November. Catching them in end of November. That's just, it's awesome because I always imagine the Nebraska season being from basically like April to pretty much October, but the fact that I'm catching them in late November just makes me so happy about life. But like I said, if you want this Guggen Squad ugly Christmas sweater, you gotta wait till Friday if you're watching this before Friday, before Black Friday, and uh, it'll be available until Monday. And you can get free shipping using the code down below. And if you wanna make some money fishing over Thanksgiving break, Thanksgiving weekend, I will leave all the details down below as well. All you have to do is download the iCatch app, find my tournament, enter that tournament, and uh, and you'll win some cash if you have the longest fish. Like I said, I'll leave a video link down below. You definitely wanna watch that before you fish the tournament because it's a little bit tricky on how to enter your fish into the into the actual tournament itself. But once you get the hang of it, like I said, it's, it's not bad. Anyways, I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Really do appreciate you guys that stay tuned. Watch this video to all the way to the end. So. For those of you guys that did stay tuned until the end, I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Just comment Guggen, all right? Just comment Guggen. I'm gonna pick a random comment that says Guggen, and uh, and I'll give you the Ned rig that I caught the fish on today. I know, crazy, like a $2 lure, but if you wanna win it, just comment Guggen, G-O-O-G-A-N. Comment that down below, and uh, I'll pick somebody. Thanks for watching, folks. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Like I said, drop a comment down below if you wanna win something, and peace!